Hi, my name is Quentin Reeder. I'm a student this fall in the CO275 uh, course on mobile device development and security being taught at Grand Rapids Community College by um, Professor Machevsky. This brief video reviews the steps involving, involved in installing the kitchen sink application in the Titanium Mobile IDE. The kitchen sink uh, app is a uh, companion application for the IDE that showcases the use of nearly every API and option available in the Titanium Mobile SDK environment. Um, particularly useful is the fact that it contains sample code that could be used in uh, building, um, you know, custom applications. So it's a, uh, you know, an excellent reference source for developers, uh, both experienced and uh, beginners such as myself. Um, it might be useful before I begin the actual installation steps to take a look at my um, SDK environment. And here you will see that we have the Android S SDK tools right here um, and the Rev you know, 20.0.3. And I think that's recommended by um, you know, by Titanium, that's the, uh, that's the uh, base SDK version. And then down here you will see the Android SD, SDK 2.2 uh, API 8. And that API contains both the SDK platform tools as well as the Google APIs. Again, um, API version 8. Uh, again, and those are required by the uh, titanium environment. I've also installed some of the extras here and I, um, I thought that it might be helpful to have some of them available at some point. Uh, after the um, SDK manager finished in downloading and installing these uh, SDK components, um, it came back with the, uh, uh, with the recommendation to install the Android 4.1 uh, APIs as well, which I did, uh, except for, as you can see, a couple that um, were not required. And uh, so that gives you an idea of the components of, um, of the uh, development environment that I'm actually working in. So let's move on to, uh, to Titanium and start the installation of the, uh, of the API. Well, here's the uh, Titanium Studio dashboard, and uh, the first step that we have here is um, is to um, choose our uh, installation type. So I'm going to go down here and bring up the menu of um, tools that are available, and we're going to install the the uh, kitchen sink um, API using the samples uh, explorer. So we're going to select the uh, kitchen sink uh, API and then we're going to import the sample as a project. Our first step here will be to find the uh, resources file on disk and I've already pre-installed that in my um, titanium workspace which is right here. So I said hit OK right there. Now that we've located it, we'll finish there and this operation will start for us automatically. On my system, uh, this uh, particular um, uh, operation runs about four minutes, so we'll take a little break and come back when we're, when we're finished. Okay, well the uh, cloning process is uh, completed. And really the next step, uh, and uh, actually the last step in this uh, process, is to simply run the application. So we're going to select, run the uh, Titanium uh, Android emulator, kitchen sink, you know, using the kitchen sink app, and we'll bring that up right now. This goes through a build process, and um, on my system this takes, um, oh, two or three minutes. We'll let this thing run right here so you can see some of the... Um, the messages that will show up down here in the um, in the console window, 
and in a moment we'll see the uh, main panel for the for the emulator pop up. And when they say one moment or two, um, it is a few moments. Well, maybe this time around it's going to be a little bit longer than a few moments, so we'll just pause this and wait till that comes up, and I'll be back as soon as it does. Ah, uh, here it is. So that took about a minute or two, and now it will continue building as it, uh, you know, completes. Uh, uh, launching the uh, emulator and building the uh, kitchen sink app so that will take again four or five minutes on my computer and um, when that's finished I'll uh, come back and and uh, just show you a few of the uh, features of the uh, of the app itself okay well we can see that the um, that the launcher is telling us that it's uh, finished uh, bringing up the Android emulator with the kitchen sink app so let's take a look at the um, at the emulator itself and some of the features of the application okay well the build is finished and the um, and the emulator has been launched and the uh, and the application has been uh, compiled and installed in the emulator and once that's done your home page on the um, emulator will look like this and you can click on the uh, apps menu here and select the kitchen sink application and here you'll see um, any number of tools that you can use that are part of the kitchen sink app and we go back to controls here and let's just pick the slider and look see what that one looks like and it gives you tools that you can use to configure the slider if you want. And again back to some of the other controls. Let's take a look at the switch. And again we can switch it on, switch it off, change the switch, hide and show and so on. So a great set of tools, you know, and the best thing about it is that you can um, you can take a look at the source code that's uh, behind them and um, make use of that code in some of your own projects. Well I want to thank you very much for taking time to take a look at um, this little video and I hope that it's uh, been very helpful for you.